Hi honeys, welcome to another general reading. So I did go ahead and pull some cards out for you in my pre-meditation shuffle. Now we have meditation with death in reverse. We also have lust with the three of wands. I'm picking up some energy of someone here who wants to reconcile, who wants a new beginning because they just can't forget about you. Like you're unforgettable. I'm also seeing here that this person, they, they spend a lot of time thinking about you in different ways, okay? With that lust card here, this person just really misses your touch, they miss your voice, they miss your smell. This person really loves your pheromones and they just miss you. It's like they can't get over you. They constantly keep thinking about you. I'm also seeing here that with meditation and death, this person is giving me some illusion energy. It's almost like they live in, I'm hearing delusional. <laughs> they live in their fantasies about you and they also daydream quite a lot about you where this person is losing touch with reality at this point it's almost like they can't stop daydreaming about you so when they're walking through their everyday life they are just in daydream mode constantly and this is how they reconnect with your energy this is how they become closer to you is through their daydreams i'm also seeing that this person is using their visual affirmations to bring you back into their life this person may do like um some visualization meditation to create the life in their own mentality of what they want with you i hope that makes sense but this person is using the technique of visualization to basically plan out the life that they want with you so i'm here really hearing that this person also they just can't stop watching you it's like they refuse to they don't want to stop watching you they don't want to stop like looking at what you're doing so if you're constantly posting online this person is watching you i'm also hearing that they may watch you from a private account or a secret account where you may not be able to know or find out that they're doing this they're doing this in secret okay they they're kind of embarrassed is what i'm hearing they're embarrassed of this obsession that they have with you they're embarrassed of how much they are it, they're in this infatuation stage with you so okay let's go ahead let's get some more cards i just want to see what else we can pull out but these are just our energy cards for you just how this person is basically feeling all right so let's see what else we can get we have the empress in reverse this person misses your healing energy and that's something that they cannot forget we also have the fool in reverse here i feel like they've done some pretty Foolish things in this connection, whenever I get the fool in reverse, it just reminds me of somebody who decided to make quick decisions without thinking. So this person has done something without thinking, without really taking the time to look over their decisions, look over the, the consequences of those decisions. I'm hearing that they had an impulsive moment. I'm specifically hearing, I had a moment of impulsivity. So this person decided to do something very impulsively, which in turn created this separation between the both of you. Now they have to watch you on the outskirts, looking inside of your own life. It's like this person is showing me like a bubble. It's like a bubble. You're inside the bubble and they're just standing outside the bubble watching you live your life. We also have the queen of wands in reverse. Okay, this is giving me energy. This person has some jealousy. You know what's funny? It's like this person acts like they're not jealous. They act like they're unbothered, but that is not true. They are very, very jealous, okay? I feel like, it's like they, they feel so possessive and it's, it's borderline toxic, I will say that. So, but the thing is, it's like they did something to directly sabotage the connection which in turn made you walk away and made you call back your energy and made you cut ties. Now they're angry because they feel like you're spending your energy with someone else. They feel like there's another person here in this connection that they really don't like. They do not like this other person. I feel like if you don't have another person, I'm going to be honest, they, this may not be your red, reading, okay? Reading. <laughs> this may not be your reading. Um, Spirit wanted to say the color red. I don't know if some of you might have that as like your favorite color or some of you may have dyed your hair red. Um, yeah, because this woman's hair is red. Or there's just something here about like, that could also be the color of your aura as well. You could have like a reddish, orange, yellowish aura to you but this person gets really heated when they think about you 
spending your sexual energy with someone else that just like that energy is just so overwhelming okay let's see what else We have the emperor here as well. So I feel like this person, they went, I'm hearing I went against the rules. This person used their power or authority over you. It's almost like they knew how you felt about them. They knew the fact that you liked them or that you were crushing on them. And they were using the attention that you were giving them to uplift their ego and make them feel good. So instead of providing you with the solid commitment, instead of providing you with emotional intimacy this person instead used up your energy to empower themselves now the fact that we have the emperor here with the empress i'm just going to say it this could very well be your twin flame your soulmate or if you don't like labels your divine counterpart okay uh, i'm hearing the roles have switched there's some role switching here so whoever's watching this okay however you choose to identify for example if you choose to identify naturally as a divine feminine, I'm seeing that you stepped into your divine masculine energy. Whoever identifies as the divine masculine is now in their distorted feminine energy. Hmm. So there's like some role switching here. Let's go ahead and pull some cards. I'm going to pull um, a crystal for your energy and also a crystal for your person's energy as well. So let's do your energy first. Okay. So we have, let's see, it is the watermelon, watermelon, did I say that right? Yeah, watermelon, tourmaline, love, balance, and clarity. This is also Gemini, Virgo, in Venus, and Saturn. So I'm picking up here that you're naturally just very gorgeous, and right now you're glowing. There is this gorgeous aura about you that just naturally invites people in. So you may notice that when you go to the grocery stores, people are going to want to spark up a conversation with you. Or, for example, if you're like at a restaurant and someone's going to come up to you and compliment how beautiful you are or how gorgeous your outfit is that day. Because you're literally exuding this aura of love. You also have created this level of clarity surrounding this situation between you and your twin flame or soulmate here or divine counterpart. You now see them for who they are and you now see the situation for what it is as well. Okay, let's pull a crystal for your divine counterpart. Let's see where they're at right now. Okay, so your divine counterpart is going to be represented by the fluorite here. Organization, clear priorities. All right, so this person is actively trying to find structure in their life. We have Capricorn, Pisces, and Mercury. So that could be either their zodiac signs or it could be somewhere in their birth chart as well. But I'm seeing that this person's life is very disorganized. It's almost like when you walked away, their life is now in shambles. They, they can't get their priorities together. They're having a difficult time navigating through life. They're also having a difficult time like navigating things without you. I'm hearing that song, I'm so lost without you. Okay, this person, it's almost like when they lost you, they lost themselves. And I really hope that makes sense, but... This person is giving me a level of codependency as well. And I feel like that's why separation is happening in your connection, in case you're ever wondering, like, why are we in separation? You know, I need more clarity on this. Well, I will give you clarity. This separation is happening because one twin really struggles with codependency. Now, you could feel like that's you, that's fine. Or you could feel like that's your person. Take whatever resonates, okay? Now, it may also be both of you as well. So I'm seeing that one twin really struggles with codependency and spirit was not having it. In order for you guys to be standing, standing on your own in your true divinity, you have to come over this level of codependency. Or should I say whoever is actually in this level of codependency. Alright, let's see what else we can get. What else does spirit want you to know about this person? I just keep hearing like they're heavily watching you. They're heavily watching you. We also have the zero here in reverse. This person, they're going to rush in like a fool. I'm hearing that song by Elvis Presley. I can't help falling in love with you. I think it's um, only fools rush in. Yeah, this person's going to be rushing in. They can't, like, they can't do this anymore. Like, the separation is unbearable. They can't do it anymore. They don't want to do it. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to live their life without you anymore. 
So be expecting this person to have a very foolish moment. They are going to be reaching out to you when you least expect it. And it's going to be very sudden. You're going to be like, what? Even the way that they communicate may also be foolish as well. It may also be very sporadic and it may, it's going to surprise you for sure. Like you're not even going to know how to respond. All right, let's see how, what else we can get. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So this is going to be advice from your spiritual team. Give your relationship a chance. Ooh, I know some of you may be like, nah, -uh, I'm over this person. I don't want to deal with this person no more, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. You have free will. That's going to be up to you to make that decision. But your spiritual team wants to remind you that you're also a softy. Don't forget how much love you actually have for this person, regardless of the things and the obstacles that have happened in this connection. I feel like you still have a lot of love for each other. So your spiritual team really hopes that you're going to give your relationship a chance with this person, that you're going to work on your partnership because you guys, this is the love of a lifetime. This is what it is. It's the love of a lifetime. You don't get this love every day. You know, it's very rare. It's rare to be a twin flame. It's also rare to find a soulmate that connects and aligns with you so well. So it's rare. And they want to remind you of that. Let's see what else. What else can we get? And we have true love in reverse. Oh my gosh, this is the romance of a lifetime. Oh, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. We also have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you your romance. All right, so you may feel very conflicted. You don't know what the truth is. You don't know if this person is your true love or you don't know if you're making things up in your head. Either that or you just, you're kind of over this connection. You don't want to give this person any more of your energy and that's totally fine. That's up to you. But Spirit wants to remind you that this is your true love. You've already met the romantic partner that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. It's genuinely up to you if you want to take this person back. When they come in very foolish and they come in very sporadically, Spirit is showing me, I know we don't, we don't have it on the tables, but Spirit is showing me like the Knight of Wands. It's very fast, very sporadic, very passionate. When this person comes in and they lay their vulnerability down, it's going to be up to you whether you want to start something new or you want to just continue on with your life. I feel like the majority of you are definitely going to give this person another chance though. That's what I'm seeing. Now the main message takeaway from this is this is this is the love of a lifetime. This is your reminder here from spirit that you've already met the person that you seek and they want you to stay optimistic about your love life because although it may be difficult separation, although there may have been some misunderstandings, and although your divine counterpart here may have broken your heart, they also want the opportunity to amend things and make things right. All right, honey, I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to get some loving messages from your person. I'm also going to get some 18 plus messages as well. Okay, some naughty messages from your person. We're going to pull some descriptions and then we're also going to pull some initials in the extended. Links are always down below. You can find them there. Don't forget, I also do offer personal readings. If you're interested, information is down below. Thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, take care, be safe. I hope your life continues to stay as good as you are. Bye.